the city of Pittsburgh has a tenuous relationship with water. Pittsburgh has suffered from several major flood events throughout its history. One of the most significant is the St. Patrick's Day flood in 1936. It was the result of two inches of rainfall in addition to 36 inches of melting snow. The rivers crested at 46 feet, which is 20 feet over the flood stage. It took a week for the water to fully recede. Today, this plaque on the St. Mary of Mercy Church on Stanwyck Street marks the high water line. Pittsburgh still struggles with flooding today, especially in the form of flash floods, which pose threats to life and property. Another concern is combined sewer overflow, which occurs when stormwater and sanitary sewer lines function as one system. This is common in many industrial cities like Pittsburgh. Heavy rain events overwhelm the system, causing the excess untreated wastewater to discharge into the rivers. With heavy rain events increasing as a result of climate change, the combined sewer system throughout much of the city has negative implications for water quality and habitat in the three rivers and for downstream communities. Ethos Collaborative is an engineering and environmental consulting firm committed to creating resilient communities in the Pittsburgh area. I spoke with Damon Weiss and Barton Kirk, the co-principals at Ethos, to hear about how they would describe Pittsburgh's relationship with water. Ubiquitous. Uh, everything, you know, water pretty much touches everything, whether it's a, a small project or a large project, but it's always been sort of a, an interesting facet of, uh, you know, design. Um, we have flooding issues, we have water quality issues, we have combined sewer issues here in Pittsburgh. And, um, you know, uh, it's, it's pretty fascinating that way. You know, Damon used the word ubiquitous. Um, you know, it really touches everything. And we're certainly, you know, a region that's blessed with, uh, with um, lots of water, uh, you know, access to it. Um, uh, um, but I think um, water, both, um, the resource that we need, as well as um, sort of the, the, the hazard that it can also um, provide is something that really touches everyone. Um, um, we've seen sort of um, areas that, that have seen the least investment um, seem to be the most affected. And so um, in, in many cases, they stand to be the ones who um, uh, have the greatest gain by infrastructure that really focuses kind of at the, at the local level, the, the site level. Um, and so we've been you know, real fortunate to be able to work on these green infrastructure projects that are engaging uh, neighborhoods and, and you know, providing um, so solutions at a, at a uh, neighborhood level. And the projects that we have been working on in those areas always have sort of a community component to it. Um, they're part of the stakeholder group. They're part of the solution. Change happens almost from the ground up more often than not in this, this sphere really engaging the neighborhood so that they you know they really have a good uh, understanding and to the point at which they are um, you know understanding and sort of developing the solutions themselves um, came from you know an express uh, request from the community they said, we, this is what we want you know we want um, we want uh, this green space and we want stormwater to be integrated into it because we want to be part of the solution during my time as an intern with ethos collaborative I primarily worked on projects relating to water. Although the projects had widely varying scopes and settings, they were all united by the fact that they recognized water as an environmental and social amenity, which reflects the company's goals. The Nine Mile Run Watershed Association has partnered with Ethos Collaborative to turn this vacant lot along Dornbush Street into a green infrastructure site. I worked with the team at Ethos to create these three concepts. The ideas were the result of a stakeholder charrette which provided insight into how the lot could serve the community. With similar projects sprouting throughout the city, like these on-street bioretention basins, Pittsburgh is taking steps to forge a more mutually beneficial relationship with the water. You know, if you're spending money in an area, spend it above ground where it matters. By addressing concerns of water quality, flooding, streetscape aesthetics, and community amenities, Pittsburgh is working towards this part of its sustainable future.